Next, we have Purdue won the division a year ago. Eight and six was their record. Yeah. Now they did lose Jeff Brom, who did very good work at Purdue. Went yeah. went to his al- alma mater of Louisville. Louisville, sorry. Uh, Ryan Walters they hired from Illinois, who was a defensive coordinator and did really good work there as a defensive coordinator. Um, comes in first time head coach. Brought in Hudson Card, Texas's yeah. backup quarterback, to be their yeah. quarterback, which right. I, which I like. Like he had interest from some bigger bigger name schools, quite frankly, and they were the, the ones that actually won that recruitment. Sounds like he's done pretty well, kind of in the spring. Like he did, he had a pretty good spring, and, and they feel good about what he could be. The over under is set at five or five and a half, so clearly lowered expectations, um, which is not anything that we should be surprised at considering you lose an established head coach and, and go to a first, first year head coach, any chance that Purdue could be better than Vegas thinks like that five or five and a half number makes it, makes it feel like there's a clear, a clear step down. Any chance they could kind of repeat what they did a year ago. I have them going under. Yeah, I I don't think so. I think the the loss of of not just the coach, but also Aiden O'Connell, Charlie Jones, um, like yeah. the quarterback receiver combo. I think that's really painful. I think it's it's hard for Purdue to find a replacement for that. You mentioned Hudson Card coming in from Texas, and we had a mixed bag of him in Texas, and we watched him quite a bit, right? Like he got quite a bit of of playing time on in big games. Um, so we like we watched him, yeah, kind of get thrown in the fire a little bit. Um, even though he didn't have just a ton of 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 total games under his belt. We kind of saw what he was made of. I'm, I'm not against him. I just, I think it's going to be difficult. I, I think it's going to be hard to just to replicate and just pick up right where, yeah, right where um, Brom had left off. So mm-hmm. the schedule's difficult um, at yes. Michigan and Ohio state um, in the crossover, which is not fun. Um, the non-con is, is, is tough. It's tough. Yes. Um, Syr- Syracuse, Fresno state and at Virginia tech is I, like, that's a, that's a tough non-conference um for Purdue and yeah like when you factor all that in with the tough crossover from the east with Michigan Ohio State I think it is I think it's an under um and it yeah maybe not maybe their final their record might not correctly indicate how good of a team they are Mm -hmm. um but they do have a, a, a brutal schedule this year that was kind of my thought process process exactly like you mentioned the non con they can win any of those games they can also lose any of those games right and when you draw Ohio State, Michigan from the East, that's rough. That's really tough. Plus, you factor in the first year head coaching thing. Like they probably drop one they're not supposed to, just because of that. Like that's that's pretty it common happens. for first year head coaches. Sure. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I do think Ryan Walters was such a good defensive coordinator. I wouldn't be shocked if he does good things as their head coach eventually. They lost maybe like the best head coach they've had. Well, since Joe Tiller, at least, but they, like they lost a really good head coach, right. first year head coach, ridiculously tough schedule. It all screams under to me. Not that particularly difficult to call that. Yeah, no, I, this one was like one of my more confident picks. This one in the, in the Michigan yeah. over um, were ones that I kind of just jumped on. Like, yeah, sure. that's easy. That's easy. So. Yep. 